Tonight I am going to make strawberry soup. It is a cold soup, a sweet soup. Um, the first time we ever had it was on a Disney cruise line. There are lots of slightly different recipes online. This is the one that I think is a Disney. Two pounds frozen strawberries, 16 ounces heavy cream, two ounces of sour cream, which is one fourth cup, three ounces of yogurt, which is one third cup. And then if you want fresh strawberries for garnish, um, I did not get that. I'm just doing the frozen. And it's kind of an expensive soup to make because this was like $4. These were $4 each. And then this yogurt was almost $2. So not a cheap soup, but we're gonna give it a try. It's been a couple of years. So first thing is you, you just blend all of this stuff together. You want the strawberries defrosted. Um, so I'm gonna get this all in the bowl and you can like blend it in a blender, but I don't believe my blender can hold this much. So I'm just gonna use a hand blender and blend it in this bowl. One of the recipes did say to add a tablespoon of sugar if needed, and I just taste tested it, and he definitely thinks it needs the tablespoon. Very tart. It's very tart. We ended up adding three tablespoons of sugar. That's the thing with berries is they just they're different every time depending where they're grown depending like just many factors you know what i mean like strawberries don't always taste the same so when i say add the sugar add it to taste start with one tablespoon and then add more if needed so now i'm going to stick this in the fridge to chill for a while while i um get the rest of dinner ready this is like an appetizer soup or a dessert soup here is the strawberry soup this one is garnished with mint we had another piece, but the cats ran off of it. You could also, a lot of people tend to garnish this with like strawberry slices. So for the strawberry soup, the first time we ever tried it was on the cruise ship, a Disney cruise ship, um, like the first day buffet and then like maybe at the Palo brunch. And then they also serve it um, at the 1900 Park Fair at Grand Floridian. So people either love strawberry soup or they hate strawberry soup because when you say soup you kind of like think of hot but this is a cold soup and and it's you know something it's more like a dessert but definitely also we can eat it as an appetizer which i'm gonna do right now it's really really good but it's definitely an acquired taste so what do you like about it i don't know i just like it that it's it's light strawberry yeah i don't know i just like it i mean it's strawberry except it's different i mean it's essentially like a smoothie a lot of people compare it to like why would you want it it's, it's a smoothie but it's a cold soup it's really good i think it would be really good for like a summer picnic in like little like mm -hmm. cups and stuff I really like it. And then we just paired it with like a salad. Try not to yell at the cats. <laughs> They're being exceptionally bad today. <laughs> Running off with the mint, <laughs> trying to eat my salad. So yeah, I used to not be a fan of cold soups, but ever since we started doing cruises and stuff and eating like at places like Palo, I kind of like cold soups now. I definitely recommend. And there's a lot of different variations of this recipe, but the one that we did, I'm pretty sure, is the Disney version.